Hi, I'm Deborah Messing, and this is the opening night of Outside Mullingar, my Broadway debut. I, I was thinking more somebody like you. I was thinking maybe you might let them take a look at you. <laughs> Take a look at me? In what way? Your beauty. My beauty? Yes. This is the first I've heard of it. <laughs> this is a play that uh, has the guts to be uh, on the side of love. It has the guts to move toward uh, the light. It's very rare, actually, for an Irish play to uh, have a happy ending. Well, it's a play about a guy who's living in the loneliest place in the world, you know. He's on an Irish farm in the Midlands uh, with his father and everybody else has left and his mother's passed away. And that's where we find him at the start of the play. But a woman on the farm next door has had her eye on him for his whole life. Uh, and uh, But he doesn't have any thought that he will ever get married. He's made up his mind that he's never going to do that. And she's made up her mind that he is going to do that. And so that's the, the great conflict. Sure, my character is a, a, an aging farmer who has kept the family farm going. It's been in the family for 120 years. It's now time to pass it down to someone else. And I am seriously thinking of, in fact, I have decided to pass it down to someone other than my son. This is the thing that stimulates uh, Deborah's character, Rosemary, who's the neighbor girl. This is what stimulates her into action and makes her go after me in an attempt to change my mind, in an attempt to change the deal. Uh, this play has, has uh, moved about quite a bit in that we learned a lot. I wasn't prepared for the emotional aspect that the audience brought to us. I was so busy trying to figure, you know, with new plays you're trying to figure out different things in it and then you forget that it perhaps has an, an emotional impact. So I was very surprised when that happened in the first show. And it, that's, and the audience are always the fifth character, you know, in something like that. And they taught us what it was, and what they told us was that it was a comedy. And we were surprised. I mean, we didn't know, so we've, so that's been a real pleasure. And it's been, it's escalated as time has gone on. I gave Deborah Messing her first job when she got out of school as an understudy on a play of mine that I did at Manhattan Theatre Club called Four Dogs in a Bone. And the first time that she went on, because an actress was out, and I saw her, I started laughing. I pulled her aside when it was over and I said, you are going to be a millionaire. The reason was she has a gigantic open heart and I've never seen anybody who loved being on stage more. And the audience can feel that, they can smell that, and they love that. It's simply a dream come true. A childhood dream come true. It, it was the one thing that, um, you know, from a, from a very, very young age, when I first saw Annie, I think I was eight, and I remember turning to my parents and saying, I want to do that, I want to be on stage someday. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, of course I had these dreams of being on the Broadway stage, and, and uh, I just, I, I didn't anticipate it ever happening for me. Um, and the fact that, the play has found me now. Um, it feels like a gift. <laughs>